Valencia, Spain, I have 226 irate strength thundering between my legs, my kickstand is up and I'm prepared to handle circuit Ricardo Tormo on board the all-new Ducati Panigale V4, the most exceptionally foreseen sport bike of the year. But on the other hand I'm slightly diverted by the sound radiating from the underslung fumes. It doesn't seem like the brand's customary V-twin arrangement, since it isn't. The new Panigale is Ducati's first historically speaking V4 fuel creation cruiser. To place this in wording per users not personally comfortable with Ducati's history can identify with, the disputable move to a V4 is similar to Porsche's relinquishment of air-cooled motors, or the jolt of hypercars. The 1103cc V4 imparts a design to Ducati's fascinating MotoGP race bicycle. Not at all like the more ordinary 180-degree crankshaft found on V4-fueled bicycles, for example, the Aprilia RS V4, the Ducati utilizes a 70-degree wrench stick balance and a twin-beat terminating design that influences it to run like two consecutive V-twins, terminating with a 1-2-beat along one bank, a short respite, at that point another 3-4-beat. Close your eyes, and it sounds bit like a Ducati V-twin, however with a marginally less sporadic and staccato cadence. The sound is profound, striking and natural, related, however not precisely the same. To be reasonable, there have been V4 Ducatis, yet they weren't generation models. The restricted creation Dismo CDCRR, which was basically a street lawful spin-off of the 2007 season MotoGP bicycle, and the 1960s period Apollo model, a disastrous would-be Harley executioner, of which just two were constructed. The power plant's one-of-a-kind highlights, for example, a counter-turning crankshaft that diminishes the gyroscopic impact of moving parts to enable the bicycle to corner while lessening the inclination to wheel it, are likewise gotten from the organization's MotoGP bicycles. All things considered, the new V4 produces 214 strength, or a shocking 226 horsepower with the discretionary Akrapovic race debilitate, and 91.5 pounds to foot of torque at the wrench. For some car point of view, that is almost twofold the ability to weight proportion of a la Ferrari, bringing this present bike's intensity per pound nearer to Formula One auto region than any road lawful four-wheeled vehicle. While it creates incrementally more power, plus 9 horsepower, and marginally less torque, minus 2.7 pounds to foot, than the active 1299 model, this one revs to 14,500 revolutions per minute in the initial 5 apparatuses and 15,000 revolutions per minute in 6th, spreading its torque all the more uniformly over a more extensive rev run. The outcome is a bicycle that is simpler to ride, and all the more vitally, less demanding to ride quick. The Panigale feels thin and conservative, with a 32.4-inch situate stature that may feel somewhat tall for shorter riders, however is run of the mill for a superbike. The cockpit C is commanded by a refreshed 5-inch TFT screen that uses another interface, controlled by means of an all the more sensibly orchestrated arrangement of catches and switches on the left-hand grip. Look through the settings and you can deal with an apparently interminable number of factors, from footing control and wheelie control to motor braking and lean point touchy ABS edges. Customized settings can fortunately be spared and reviewed, there are such huge numbers of, you'll need your inclinations dialed in and saved. Out of pit path and onto the track, the Panigale pulls ahead with a misleadingly low pitched motor note and a since quite a while ago legged stream of energy. While the active twin had a wild surge of low end torque, the new plant feels more dynamic and straight. At the point when my nature and ears revealed to me it may be an ideal opportunity to consider moving, I looked at the tack and saw just 8,000 revolutions per minute. Since Redline doesn't come in till 14,500 revolutions per minute, that implies I would have left an extensive 6,500 revolutions per minute on the table, or 5,000 revolutions per minute until crest strength at 13,000 revolutions per minute. What does the number one setting? the nearest to totally impairing footing control, feel like. I didn't figure out how to attempt it. Be that as it may, a kindred rider, who happens to be a previous AMA Pro Superbike racer, later portrayed the setting as effing enthusiastic. Obviously, all electronic frameworks, counting a slight by brake framework, which empowers you to back the bicycle into a tight spot by dragging the back plugs, can be crippled. I plunged as low as level 2, with 0 being off 
Inclining toward the rider helps to keep my smooth alpine stars cowhides and carbon fiber AGV piece GPR protective cap, also my skin and bones, in place. Convey enough speed into the last corner and trail sufficiently wide to kiss the thunderstrip, and you are remunerated with a stunning impact of quickening as the back bar lies attached with the warm asphalt beneath. Despite the fact that there's to a lesser degree a propensity to lift the front end contrasted and the 1299, the nose still ascensions and helps enough to wobble as the torque exchanges through that modest contact fix of elastic at the tail. I wrestled the grasps to stay locally available, holding tight with arm quality as the Panigale charged ahead, upshifts punctuated with the shotgun sound of unspent fuel combusting through the fumes. Toward the finish of the half mile straight I saw a demonstrated 278 km per hour, 172 miles per hour, before I utilized my abdominal area as an air brake and got a pack of front brakes. Pressing the lever sufficiently hard cinches the Brembo monoblock Stylema plugged sufficiently down to influence the backside of the bicycle to lift, an impression of the sheer halting force and front end hold the Ducati is equipped for conveying. Once you've scoured off 100 miles per hour or something like that, it's a wide left, another short straight and afterward that hard lefter to begin the circle all once again once more. The 2018 Ducati Panigale V4 puts a splendid red shout stamp on the possibility that speed admirers are enjoying a brilliant time of strength and innovation. You don't need to be a cruiser individual to see that, in spite of furious rivalry from the Japanese enormous 4, Honda, Kawasaki, Yamaha and Suzuki, Ducati's V4 is as yet a relative execution esteem. Its entrance cost of $21,195, or $26,995 for the V4S show with the trap electronically controlled Allen's suspension, is basically the going rate for a sensible Korean car. We will dependably adore our autos here at Autoblog. However we have a weakness for bicycles that consolidate race reproduced execution and cutting edge innovation, while conveying all inspiring value for the money. Through that crystal, the Ducati Panigale V4 conveys a dazzling bundle that withdraws from convention while receiving a reassuringly boisterous, and fittingly future accommodating, power plant, a four-chamber stuffed with enough soul to make up for the loss of the adored twin.